Hey folks, AJ the CEO here, and in this video, I want to show you real quick something that a lot of people have underestimated and maybe for completely forgot about with the A2 Mini Pro and higher, and that is how to stream using your phone as a tether. So let's go. Hey folks, AJ the CEO here. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, thanks for stopping by and on this channel. We focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And if you like what we're doing here, consider becoming a patron or a YouTube member by clicking one of the links down below. So I have a couple of churches that I've installed the A10 Mini Pro, but unfortunately they're in areas that don't have great internet access. So right now this is preparing them when better internet is there mainly Starlink. That is what I'm pushing for a couple of these churches, but I want to do a video for them and for anybody else that may not have noticed the update that came with ATEM software 8.6 and higher for the ATEM Mini Pro line and higher. That's the ATEM Mini Pro, Pro ISO, Extreme, Extreme ISO. That is the ability for you to hook your phone up as a tether so that it can be streamed with that device. So if your internet is not strong enough, but you have a good signal on your cell, let me walk you through the real simple steps on how you got to get that set up. All right. So let's go ahead and cut over to the computer here. And here is our regular ATEM software. Now, if you happen to have this open, the easiest way for you to get to it is to go over here to file, go to connection, and then hit your setup here. So let's go ahead and do that. And we have our software here. All right, so let's go here to our little save icon here. And if we scroll down, we have connection priority. Do you want to, this is the feature that they've added in 861, I believe. This one would give you the priority of either ethernet or mobile. So I like this with the, actually with the pro and higher. If you have an ethernet connection, then hey, you know, it will use that. But if for whatever reason you lose a signal, this will fall over to your mobile. And I like to have mine connected, especially if I'm in remote locations, but it doesn't really matter. But if you're in a place where your internet is bad, just go ahead and check off mobile. Doesn't really hurt. All right. And then we'll just go ahead and save that. Now, nothing really happened. All right. So what we're going to do is come back over here to our software. And as you can see, I'm going to, let me point this to a place so we can actually stream here. Let's go over here to output and we're going to stream to Vimeo. Let me go ahead and put a code in here real quick, which is obviously going to be blurred. All right. So we're all set with our stream key. And what we're going to do now is I'm going to take my galaxy phone here and I'm going to connect it over USB that's plugged into my A2 Mini Extreme. So let me put a screen recorder on here so you can see what actually I'm doing. All right, so we have our stream going on here. Let's go ahead and connect this. So what I'm gonna do is come over here. We're just gonna go to our settings here and we're going to go to our connections and we're going to go to tethering, all right? And then we're going to connect to USB tether. And boom, now we're all done. So now let's go back over to our computer here. And we're going to check out our settings one more time so we can see what we're using. So let's go back to our setup one more time. And as you can see, we are going from mobile. Now, let me disconnect the ethernet cable, which I, yeah, I should still be able to be connected to this. So let's go ahead and drop the ethernet cable on here. All right. So as you can see, we're disconnected because it just flipped. Let's go back in here again. And as you can see, I am not getting an IP address from my regular network. We are on something completely different, which is my phone. So now let's go ahead and see, can we stream with this? So we're just going to come over here to live stream. And as you can see, there's a little icon right there that's showing that we are on mobile. So let's go ahead and just do on air. And I'm going to bring over 
um, Vimeo, and boom, there you see. We are streaming live right now off of our phone. So I can go to a higher resolution here. Let's let that kick in here for a second. And of course, it's going on in to infinity right now. And there we go. We have a better signal right now. So that's really all it takes to get all of this done. So make sure if you are using this, you need to go over here to Black Magic Design. And we're going to come over here to our setup. Then we're going to go to the ATEM Live Production Switchers. And then make sure you have version 8.6.1 installed. And once you have it installed, it will do a firmware update to your ATEM Mini Pro and higher. Not the ATEM Mini. It needs to be able to stream, obviously, for this to work. And all you got to do is connect your phone and let it go to tether mode. And there you go. And now you can have the availability of scripture and lyrics, get a higher quality camera, use your ATEM, even if you're in a place where it doesn't offer faster speeds for your ISP, but you can use your phone. So if you have any questions, please leave them down below. I will try and help out as much as I possibly can. Give me 48 to 72 hours to respond. If you email me here at questions at ajhomes.com, I will do my best to get back in touch with you. But let me know, have you used this feature at all? And Hey, if you haven't, do you, now that you know, do you plan on using it? And also, if you didn't know, Blackmagic actually <laughs> dropped the price of the a Mini Pro and the Pro ISO by $100. So now, instead of it being $595, it is $495. Or eight, instead of $895 for the ISO, it's $795. So it is a great investment for your ministry because it can handle your streaming and you don't have to worry about it being a bad um, ISP issue anymore because it's not fast enough. You can hook up a hotspot that has USB out or you can hook up your phone as a tether. So hopefully that helps you out. Thanks for watching, folks. This is AJ. If you like this type of content, I appreciate a like. Consider subscribing and hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos that help modernize your media ministry. I want to thank the patrons and the YouTube members for making this video possible. Their name's on the screen right now, and you too can become a patron for as little as $1 a month or a YouTube member by clicking the join button down below. No matter which way you pick, folks, you are helping us train media ministries all over the world. Thanks for watching, folks. This is AJ. We will see you on the next video. Later.